Well, Nancy, where the Show Me Stars is nearly here. Yeah. The whole News Couple 3 days. This Morning team will broadcast live from Cape Girardeau on Friday morning. That's right. And we're so excited to show you the venue, the dancers, mm -hmm. and yeah. more. And it all benefits the Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri, also known as CPCMO. Brooke Slyer is live now with more on the organization. Brooke? Yeah, good morning, Evan Day. Well, it is a night of music, dancing, glitz, and glamour, but it's all for a good cause. And so far, we've talked about how the Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri serves homeless adults, families, and seniors, but the group also works with youth. The group has a program called Thrive, and it tries to reach those who are age 12 to 17 and go to school, but might not be involved in any other sports or activities. The program focuses on 40 developmental assets, and those are taught through fun activities, group projects, community service, and even field trips. Melissa Stickle, the executive director, explains more. The more assets that a youth has as they go into adulthood, the more likely they're going to be successful. And these assets uh, range from being connected with school or having uh, at least one person in their life that cares for them to even reading for pleasure. The program also reaches preteens and teens who are in the state's division of youth services who are unable to live at home because of behavioral issues. The Community Partnership of Southeast Missouri has goals for these youth who are also enrolled in Thrive. A lot more on that coming up on News 3 at 530. But for now, Nick, you can really hear that rain and 